Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives a written message from the custodian of the two holy mosques. 612,000 male and female voters in all wilayas of the Sultanate go to polling stations to elect members of the Shura Council for the eighth term. And the Minister of Interior stresses that voting process in election centers went with flow and ease. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a written message from custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, related to inviting His Majesty to attend the fourth summit conference of the Arab countries and South American countries due to be held in November in Riyadh. The message was handed to His Excellency by Yus uh, to His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, when he received today His Excellency Aid bin Mohammed Al Thaqafi. Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Sultanate. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a couple of greetings to His Excellency President Dr. Hans Fischer of Austria on the occasion of his country's National Day. And His Majesty the Sultan has received a cable of thanks from His Majesty King Philip VI of Spain in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his country's National Day. Omani citizens today went to the polls to elect representatives of the Willis for the Shura Council membership's eighth term. Further details in the following report. 612,000 male and female voters today went to 107 polling stations to elect members of the Shura Council for the eighth term. Starting at 7 a.m., all over 61 wilayas of the Sultanate to elect 85 candidates for the membership of the Shura Council. The voters were overwhelmed with feeling of success for the Omani Shura experiment with further achievements and a new promising and important stage of their life based on a desire of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos to give citizens the, the right to make decisions and to contribute in the country's progress. The Shura process in the Sultanate went on in a studied uh, gradual progress taking into consideration needs for its stage and work to fulfill its requirements. The Shura Council's scope of responsibilities were expanded during its successive uh, terms to arrive to the 8th in which the Omani voters today will determine who will represent them with efficiency. The Shura Council during its previous seventh term had numerous achievements and realized tangible aspirations. The Shura Council consists of representatives of the wilayas of the Sultanate and they are elected according to the number of citizens. Each wilaya with 30,000 citizens or more elects two representatives and one representative to represent one wilaya of a population less than 30,000 citizens. The Council's uh, membership lasts uh, for four years. The Shura Council enjoys uh, numerous functions uh, such as reviewing draft decisions and laws uh, prepared by the ministries and government bodies and participating in preparing for development plans. The Shura Council uh, participates other Arab and international parliamentary councils in discussing issues and matters aimed to strengthen cooperation between the Sultanate and other countries of the world. To emphasize the principle of integrity, Ministry of Interior approved the electronic system of the identity card to prove the presence of the elector on the day of the election and that is provided for male and female electors to have integral partnership with the government under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. 
His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi, Minister of the Interior, met Chairman uh, and members of the main committee of elections of Shura Council members for the eighth term at the General Diwan of the Ministry in Al Khwair. He had a look at the progress of election process of various wilayas of the Sultanate and the role of the main committee of the tasks in following up of voting at various election centers. The Minister of the Interior mentioned that the voting process went with flow and ease. His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal al Saidi, Minister of the Interior, today inspected progress of election process in the Wilaya of Muscat, which started this morning in all Wilayas of the Sultanate and concluded at 7 p.m. He toured the voting centers at Zahra School for Basic Education, which received male and female voters, and His Excellency witnessed part of the voting process. 70 candidates compete in the wilayas of the Governorate of Muscat to win 11 seats in Shura Council election for the 8th term. The voting centres were distributed in the Governorate as per population density. They amounted to 13 centres in the 6 wilayas of the Governorate, Muscat, Matrah, Sib, Boshar, al Amurat, and Quriyat. The voting process went well as planned. Voting centers in the wilayas of the Governorate of the Far witnessed a good turnout of citizens who casted their votes to elect their candidates in Shura Council members' elections for the eighth term. 126 candidates compete in the Governorate, which is considered the highest in terms of the number of candidates among the Sultanate's Governorates to win 11 seats in the Council. The voting process went smoothly. In the Governorate of Musandam, 15 candidates competed for four seats, so one seat for each wilaya, according to the law of Shura Council member elections. Voters uh, casted their votes uh, to elect their representatives for the eighth term in the seven voting centers in a smooth and organized manner. 9,734 voters are in the Governorate. In the Governorate of al Buremi, voters headed to the voting centers uh, to cast their votes for choosing their representatives to the Shura Council. The election centers were chosen to cope with population and also for ease or easy access. Nineteen candidates competed to win four seats. One of them is women, uh, more than 13,500 male and female voters registered in the election registry. In the Governorate of al Zahira, more than 32,900 uh, citizens voted today to elect their representatives in the membership of the Shura Council for the eighth term. The Governorate citizens said that the voters uh, should elect the best uh, who will support the Wilaya in the future. 38 candidates are competing for four seats which are allocated for the representatives of the Wilayas of Ibri, Yankal and Dhank. It should be noted that the, the number of election centers in the Governorate of al Zahira are distributed to six centers. Voters of the wilayas of the Governorate of North al are headed today to ballot boxes to cast their votes and choose their representatives for the eighth term of Shura Council membership. 60 candidates competed to win 11 seats in the Council. More details with Saif bin Khalfan Al-Kindi in the following report. More than 28,000 voters joined three electoral centers in Suhar casting their votes in the ballot boxes to elect their candidates for the membership of Majlis Ashura in its eighth period. The election went smoothly starting at 7 a.m. in the electoral centers under the supervision of organizing commissions. I see that this uh, I mean, the identification process is uh, working very well uh, with the IDs and the fingerprint. This is uh, very accurate uh, according to international standards. So I am very happy about this uh, to happen. Then the mm, uh, privacy of the vote is more or less uh, guaranteed with the, the, these uh, ballot uh, stations. Three types of commissions in every electoral center. One of them is the organizing commission, the second is the voting commission, and the third is the counting of votes commission. Well, the rush hour was uh, starting of the day, like from 8 to 10. 
and we dealt with that uh, with uh, organizing the electors, people who is coming to uh, make uh, voting, and uh, it went okay, alhamdulillah, smoothly and no problems. The last step of the election was the closing process before sending the ballot boxes to the counting commissions. Well, in fact, the coming hours are very essential for many candidates as they are waiting for their names to be declared as Shura members in the eighth period to enable them to play a wide role in its legislative and auditing principles. Saif al Kindi for English News, Suhar. And in the governorate of South al Batana, more than 55,000 citizens casted their votes in the centers distributed in the governorate to elect their representatives in the membership of the Shura Council for the eighth term. The process went at ease as the voters elected their competent representatives who are to shoulder the trust and to contribute with their experiences in building the country. In the governorate of Dakhiliya, with its various wilayas, all preparations were made for the success of election process. Voters cast their votes to elect their representatives for 12 seats at Shura Council. The election committees formed in the governorate worked tirelessly to facilitate the election process. Several voting centers were assigned for the eight wilayas of the governorate. Thousands of voters from various segments of the society thronged from early morning to these centers. Arab and foreign media delegation visited some voters voting centers in the governorate to get acquainted with the workflow of the election process. Voters of the Wilayas of North Sharqi are headed today also to ballot boxes to cast their votes and choose their representatives for the eighth term of Shura Council membership. Voting centers uh, distributed in the Wilayas of North Sharqi in eight Wilayas. 42 candidates competed to win seven seats in the council. The number of male and female voters in all Wilayas were 52,000. Fifty-three candidates, including eight women, compete in the governorate of South Sharqiya to win eight seats in Shura Council in its eighth term. The voting centers in the five wilayas of the governorate witnessed good turnout from the early morning. The number of eligible voters in the wilay of Sura amounted to 22,719 male and female voters. Three voting centers were allocated in the wilay. In the wilay of Jalan Bani Bo Ali, eligible citizens have headed to the voting centers to elect their representatives in the council the upcoming term. The voting centers in the wilaya of Jalan Bani Bu Hassan also received many voters uh, from the early morning. Citizens in the wilaya of Masira also took part in the election process as uh, to elect uh, their representatives at Shura Council in its eighth term. In the wilayas of the governorate of Al Wusta, voters uh, casted their votes to elect uh, four members to represent uh, them at Shura Council. Out of 31 candidate citizens who came from early morning to take part in the election, expressed their satisfaction of the election process in various voting centers in the governorate. The voting process was easy. To due to good organization and preparations. In the Wilay of Mahout, 4,500 voters were recorded to elect one member of the Shura Council that will represent the Wilay. Meanwhile, 2,479 voters voted in the Wilay of Dukum to elect their representative in the Council. In the Wilay of Al Jazar, 1,620 voters came to voting centers to elect one member of the Shura Council out of 10 candidates. The Wilay of Hema recorded 1,250 50 voters uh, who came to voting centers to elect one member to share a council from seven candidates. Now This is the South on the Man Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qabus receives a written message from the custodian of the two holy mosques. 612,000 male and female voters in all wilayas of the Sultanate go to polling stations to elect members of the Shura Council for the eighth term. And the Minister of Interior stresses that voting process in election centers went uh, with flow and ease. 
With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From me, Abdullah Rubai, together with the news uh, director, uh, Mohammed bin Salim Al Ma'wali, and here with me, uh, cameraman uh, Talal uh, bin uh, Talib bin Hamid Ashukeli and Adil uh, bin Juma Al Blushi. We thank you for joining us.